All right, so first things first, I want to start by saying I think that Zach Eady is a great college basketball player, a potential back-to-back -back Naismith player of the year. And if he captures a national championship this year at Purdue, it's hard to argue the fact that he would be at least a top five college basketball player of all time, resume-wise. But I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> Let's stop it. We fall for this trick every year on a dominant college big man, and they never turn out in the NBA, and we're going to run through the list of them later in the video. But in my opinion, there is no way that Zach Eadie will be a competent big man in today's NBA, especially when you consider the landscape of the play style, pace, space, and shooting. He's actually a negative in all three of those categories. But I mean, first, let's go ahead and start by giving the man his flowers. Great college basketball player, one of the greatest of all time. This season, he's averaging 23 points and 11 rebounds on 62% from the field. And honestly, it's to the point where it would be a shock if he didn't win his second straight Naismith play of the year and when you run down the list of his career accolades it's pretty astonishing in 2023 alone he was the national college player of the year pete noel big man of the year kareem abdul jabbar award consensus first team all american big 10 player of the year and first team all big 10 it's for sure gonna double up on all of those this season and going back to his freshman and sophomore year he had some accolades as well so again i'm not here to say that zach is a bad player you guys know me i always keep it real and give my opinion whether you agree with it or not when i see stuff like this i mean mock drafts that have him going in the lottery at number 13 to the new orleans pelicans or or even this one right here that has him going at number 17 to the Miami Heat. It just doesn't make any sense to me. When we're talking about the modern era of basketball today, if you're a big man that can't shoot, you're not worth a lottery pick in today's league. And honestly, this is a bold take, but I don't even think that I would draft Zach Eady. I mean, whether you're talking about Tyler Hansborough from North Carolina, another great college basketball player, arguably the greatest of all time, Luca Garza a couple years ago from Iowa, Jared Sollinger from Ohio State. Modern era of basketball, these dominant college big men just don't pan out in the NBA, especially when they don't have a jump shot, but more specifically when Whenever they're slow and clunky. And being slow and clunky matters because it's going to take away from arguably one of Zach Eady's best traits. And that's his knack for getting block shots. As you can see right here, he's averaging 2.3 blocks per game this season. But what you're going to notice on these clips right here is his blocks all come from him being camped out in the lane, which obviously in the NBA, there's the three second rule. He's not going to be able to just be parked down there. He's going to have to be out on the wing guarding guys like Anthony Davis, Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid. And that's not even counting how badly he would get abused in pick and roll switch scenarios. I mean, imagine Kyrie Irving or Luka Doncic turning the corner on Zach Eady, who would be over for his ankles and that's just talking defensively with him someone recently that just came out of the draft that's actually doing pretty well during his rookie season is Derek Lively from Duke he's with the Mavs and while he has no jumper at all he at least has extreme athleticism so he's able to be a pick and roll lob threat or in that dunker spot for the Mavs especially in that offense powered by Luka Doncic. Jack Eady doesn't have the athleticism like I said he's slow and clunky so on both sides of the ball it's going to be really hard to play him. Now let's take a look at some of these comparisons for Zach Eady. We can see here we got a bigger Ivica Zubats, some Barba Marjanovic, Yao Ming with a little less size and mobility so slow and clunky and then a plus size Eric Montaros. Let's start with Avika Zubats as he was drafted in 2016 in the second round, so clearly not a lottery pick. Barbara Manjanovic was drafted at number 51 overall by the Rockets, so a very late second round pick. Now, Eric Montaros was the ninth overall selection in the 1994 NBA draft, but in his NBA career, he only averaged four points and four rebounds a game, and that's back when the slow and clunky big man ruled the NBA. He'd probably do even worse in an era like today that Zach Eady's playing in. Then the obvious comparison is going to be Yao Ming, but even that comparison is that he has a little less size and mobility. It's just not going to work. Zach Eady just made the first three-pointer of his entire career the other night. Well, obviously, he's not a great three-point shooter, but I will say, if you look right here, he is a solid free-throw shooter for his size, but so are a bunch of other big men in the league that can also shoot threes. Why would you pick him when you can have a guy that can shoot threes and make free throws and is actually active and mobile? I love Zach Eady as a college player, and I think he's awesome. Guys, we got to stop calling him a lottery pick. You get fooled by the Zach Eady propaganda this year, and it's really just dominant college big men propaganda in general. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though, and let me know what you think. I'll see you soon.